Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're going to take a look at using the Flash F animation component to create a nice web banner. Here's the banner. All this animation was created using the Flash F component. Now, before we get started, this Flash F component is an ActionScript 3.0 component, so you need Flash CS3 or newer in order to use it. There you go. We're going to create that banner, or maybe a slightly more simplified version of it. We're going to go File New and choose Flash File ActionScript 3.0 to get started. We need to change the size of this document, so down on the Properties panel, choose the Size button. Dimension will be 728 by 90. That's a pretty standard web banner. We're going to choose the darkest gray as our background color, and the frame rate we will up to 30 frames per second. Hit OK, and here is our file. The first layer, we're going to name it Box, and we're going to grab the Rectangle tool and just draw a rectangle any size, anywhere on the stage. Width will be 250, height will be 90. I'm just going to drag them and slide them right over to about you know, the far right hand side of this document. I'm going to select that rectangle, go modify, convert to symbol. Type movie clip symbol. The name of this symbol will be box underscore MC. Hit OK. Select that box. In the properties panel, select the color drop down menu and choose alpha. Set the alpha to about 20% just to cut off that portion of the banner. Lock that layer up now. Oops and create a new layer. Name this layer Logo. And I have the logo right here in my clipboard, so I'm just going to hit Command or Control V to paste it and move it right over. There we go. I'm going to select that logo and convert that to a symbol as well. Just name it Logo underscore MC. Hit OK. Lock that layer up. Create a new layer, name this text, and create another new layer and name this text 2 because we're going to have two lines of text, and create one last layer and name that AS for action script. Now, we need 300 frames for this animation we're going to do, so come all the way out, find frame 300, click and drag all the way down, and right click and hit insert frame. Now, go to frame 150 on the text one layer. You know it's frame 150 because it'll tell you right here in this little bottom info bar of the timeline. Right click and hit insert blank keyframe. And up here on text layer two, right click and hit insert keyframe. So there we go, we just inserted two blank keyframes right at frame 150. Now back on frame one on the text layer, you can ignore the text two in the AS layers for now. Grab the text tool and make sure you are using dynamic text. Whenever we work with text animations using the Flash F component, we're going to be using dynamic text. So dynamic text is an important one. Verdana will be the font face. You can choose any font face you want. And uh, we're going to use about 27 size. Again, the size can be anything you want as long as you have room for it. And then a medium gray. I'm also anti-aliasing this text for animation. I'm going to click anywhere. And I'm going to choose this bottom right handle. I'm just going to click and drag out to give myself a decent amount of space to type into. I'm just going to type create complex animations dot dot dot. Grab my selection tool. And there we go, place the text right there. I'm going to next choose the embed button in the properties panel and hit autofill. This is an important step anytime you are creating text animations as well. Now I'm going to select this text, copy it, move all the way out to frame 150 up on the text 2 layer, and select edit, paste in place. Very nice. Go back to the text, just the text 1 layer. And we're going to begin animating this. We need to go Window, Components, to grab our Components panel, and just drag the standard Flash F component out of the Component panel and drop it onto that Dynamic Text field. Select that Flash F component, go Window, Other Panels, Flash F panel. Here's the Flash F panel. And now we're going to choose a Show Transition. Show Transition is going to be FET. Slice. And we're going to increase the amount of slices to about 15. And the position, direction, and preset, everything else stays default. So slices goes to 16, and that's it. Now we're going to choose a hide pattern. The hide pattern, this one's all the way down near the bottom. It's FET Waves Mask. Again, everything stays default except the wave thickness, which will make 5. Okay, I'm going to minimize the Flash F panel. And I'm going to choose the Flash F component here, and I'm going to copy it. So it's Command and Control C. Now I'm going to come over here to Text 2 
And before I paste it, I'm going to double click in here and I'm just going to type flash f as 3.0 component. Now I'm going to paste this flash f component and then just drag it up and drop it on this text field. Now before I go and edit this, I just want to select this dynamic text field and make sure that I have auto filled these characters. See that? Different characters. If you don't auto fill, you either are, end up missing letters or no text shows up at all. So it's very important that you do that. Select the Flash F component and look back into the Flash F panel. I want to get rid of the hide pattern. So I'm going to go pattern and just choose none. Now something else here. You see this dynamic text field. The instance name is instance name 17. Because we copied this component, we just need to make sure that we're still affecting the dynamic text field that goes by the name of instance name 17 and not something else. So let's come in here. And this can be in show or hide. We're going to stick with show because that's checked. But if you're using a show and hide, you only have to do this in one of them. It changes across the board. You can see, yes, we have, in fact, changed to instance name 17. So it's very nice. It's done that automatically for us. Now let's just preview this movie and see what we have. I was control enter. If you're on the Mac, it would be command return. So there we have our one animation. It fades out, and the next animation comes in. And this should not fade out. But what's going to happen is it's going to restart the whole movie. So here's where the AS layer comes into play. Select the AS layer, right click on the very last frame, and just insert a keyframe. Go window actions. Oops, not behaviors. Window actions, and just program a simple stop action. It's just stop, open close parenthesis, semicolon. And that's it. That'll stop the movie at the very end. Now, I do want to convert this text to a button. So, well, the first thing I want to do is select the dynamic text field. Whenever you're working with a dynamic text field, the entire text field ends up turning into a button. You see we have all this blank space over here, including some that rolls over our logo. Now, we do not want the logo to be affected by this text. And we certainly don't want the text messing up our logo button, because we're going to convert that to a button as well. So we're just going to drag this guy in just like that. Now we're going to select this Flash F component, double click on the Flash F panel, and go to the Button tab. Under Pattern, we're going to choose the simple FEB, because the FEB are for buttons. We're going to go with a simple one, Glow. The color is going to be a nice bright pink red, like so. We're going to choose more parameters, and we're just going to reduce the blur a little bit, down to around 10 or 11, you know, ish, something like that. Let's preview this and see what this looks like. So we got our animation, still our button, which we're, we're going to animate a show transition for that and convert that to a button as well. And now when we roll over our Flash AS3 component text, you can see it is now a button. Very, very cool. Let's get back onto the logo layer. And I'm going to drag a new transition from the library or from the component panel out and drop it onto this logo. I'm going to lock up the rest of the stuff so I don't accidentally drop this somewhere else. Drop it right onto the logo. Now it doesn't matter that we've already dragged these out before, it just drags out another instance of it. We're going to select that flash F component, go to the flash F panel, and under show, we're just going to use the simple FES alpha bars as our transition. And we're going to convert the bar thickness to about 15. Let's just grab a quick, quick preview of this using this little drop down menu. Go to preview. And uh, OK, that's nice. We'll use that one. And we don't need a high transition. transition. However, we do want to convert this to a button. So under pattern, we're going to use the same glow, uh, same color, that pink red. Under more parameters, again, blur X and blur Y, you know, 11 or 12 is fine. Let's check it out, see what happens. Okay, you can see the Flash F logo comes right in, and that immediately is available as a button. And as soon as this other text shows up, that too is available as a button. So the last thing to do with these buttons is to program them to go to the Flash F website when you click them. Under the Button tab, there's the Command Sub tab. We're going to select Add and choose FEC Navigate to URL. Event type is going to be Release. When the person releases their mouse button, we want it to go to the URL, HTTP, colon forward slash forward slash www.flashf.com. Now the browser target is simply the way the browser opens up the page. Does it open it up in a new window or new tab, or does it keep it in that same window? Underscore blank opens it in a new window or a new tab. Underscore self will keep it in the same window. 
I'm going to stick with the default underscore blank. And I'm going to minimize this now. I'm going to select the flash F component here. Whoops, I blocked it up. The flash F component on the other text layer here. There we go. And I'm also going to apply that same exact command, add navigate to URL again on release. And this is just going to the flashf.com. Make sure you spell it correctly if you are typing in a URL, just like that. And I'm going to preview this again. And I will check, make sure. Let's click flash F. And you can see, here we go. Bam. Just like that, we have created all that animation and programmed these buttons in not very much time at all. So that is how you do it. That is how you create animations and even a little bit of button programming with the Flash F component. Hope you learned something and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.